Welcome everyone, to use the S Pen, you can't use it on the outside screen, instead you will need to open up for the cover screen. The S Pen does not have Bluetooth, so it should automatically work, so you can see I'm able to navigate. And if you bring your S Pen close to the screen, you can see that little cursor there, and once you've done this, you should also see this pen icon and so if we just tap on this pen icon here we should have a little introduction and this should only show up once so we're just going to go through the tutorial and okay let's get into this so I'm going to tap the pen icon again and so we have a bunch of quick actions right here we can customize what quick actions will show here and I'll cover that later, but uh, let's go through what each one of these features does. So create note, if I tap on this here, it's gonna open a notes app, uh, more tutorials, and in the notes app, we can do a quick note like this, and we can resize the app, there we go, use this bar to move around, and so we just annotate here. You see on the S Pen, there is a button. If you long press this button, this acts as an eraser. And so you can just erase stuff like this. And if we tap the blue bar, tap the blue bar, we can close out the app right here. If you want to quickly open up the Notes app without having to tap that button, while the S Pen is close to the screen and you see the cursor, if you long press this button and while long pressing, double tap the screen, it will quickly open up the notes and you can see you can annotate a note like this. If you don't want to always tap this button for the menu, again, while the S Pen is close to the screen, if you double click this button, you can see double click. So I'll do that one more time, click, click. You can see it will open up the menu. So let's go through all of this here. If I select view all notes, this will just bring you straight into the notes application. And of course you can see your notes here. Smart select, this is a screenshot. So if I tap the smart select, and we just select what we want, it's gonna take a screenshot. Uh, we can save it, annotate and share. Screen write is a screenshot, but it will automatically let you write on top of it. There we go. So if you just want to do a quick annotation, use the screen write feature. Live messages. If I open up the app, I'm just going to agree to all the permissions it asks for. Essentially, you can take a picture or video and you can annotate it. So I'm going to, let's say take a picture, we can add my annotation like that. And you can see, boom, it's going to create a video with that annotation. If you long press this one, you can record a video and then release the finish. And then you can write stuff scrub across and there we go so you can see i've created the video and it does that annotation mid video ar doodle is kind of similar so if i open up the app so if i do a recording here we can use ar to write stuff on and you can see with the ar it will track to where you pull it there we go and now we can stop and we can play back our lovely recording the translate feature if i tap on this one you can select what language to translate from and you can swipe down if you don't see a language and so what it does is if you highlight the s pen over some text it will get the text and then it will translate it so i'm going to switch so we go in from english to spanish you hover your pen over the text and the pen needs to be kind of close 
just hover it over. You can see, there we go, we can copy it, we can play it, and you can hide this if you want, and then close out if you would like to as well. Then we have the pen up. This is a shortcut to the pen up application, and this is some doodle app. So you can see here you have these outlines or backgrounds, and then you can draw on top of the outline and just create your own custom drawing with that outline as a base. Now there are more shortcuts. So if we go back to the menu, then we tap on the add. You can see the shortcuts are either these extra features here, the S Pen features, and if you want, you can select apps to put in to this sidebar. So in my case, I'm going to put the rest of these features in, and then we'll go through each one, one by one. Next up, we have the Bixby vision. So I may ask for the permission. Uh, we'll just enable the permissions at once, which are already on. There we go, photos, we'll allow that one. And so how it works is if you highlight your pen over something, you can see it's gonna highlight. And so let's say you were looking at an image. So I have this image here. I want to find out what that is. I will hover my pen and I'll just drag it out. And once we've selected, you can see under Bixby Vision, we'll show results and it'll search for the image. And you can see it found the image, Torquay Harbor. There we go, that is the image of what I selected. Um, so that's useful if you just want to see what things are and we'll close out that one Then we have the magnify So if you just have your S Pen over the screen You can see it's just going to magnify stuff and you can Change the size of the zoom There we go boom increase or decrease the radius of the zoom as well then we have the glance feature so if i open up an app and then use the glance you can just see the app at the bottom right and if you have your s pen over you can quickly glance at it maybe you have some notes here that you want to have to, uh, uh, to glance you just hover over to quickly look at and then go out and just type your stuff in to remove this glance just so wait here, drag and drop into the remove. And then we have right on calendar. We'll open up the calendar app and just let you do a quick annotation. Boom, literally what that does. And then we have the coloring. This will open up the pen up app, but it will put you in the coloring area. So you can select something quickly. Boom, and do your little coloring. In the future, you may have filled your quick bar here and I can't add any apps, this is an issue. So if you want to remove something, long press on the quick toggle and just drag and drop to remove. And now we have the option to add here. If we go to add, we can add our shortcuts. So, you know, you can customize this to whatever you would like. You've seen what all these S Pen features do. Most of them are useless, but maybe you just want to open up some apps here. Boom, there you go. Excellent. And so, yes, and there we go. We can go boom. Lovely. You also have the S Pen settings. And so you have air actions here. Air actions are only available on the S Pen Pro Edition, which Samsung, you know, if you, if you bought the case, that is not the S Pen Pro. Uh, S Pen Fold Edition does not have Air Actions, but if you have the Pro, if you tap into Air Actions and then you pair your S Pen, which is just how you play any Bluetooth device, it will show you a bunch of Air Actions you can use. And just follow the on-screen instructions. You would hold down this button here, and while holding it down, you would just do a symbol in the air, and then that would count as an Air Action. 
and you can also turn on or off the quick notes feature so that is when you hold a pen button and then double tap i covered that at the beginning of the video you may also notice there is a screen off memos feature and so i didn't cover this because this will only work when your, S, uh, when your Z Fold 5 is unfolded. All it is, is when the screen is black, you can long press the S Pen button and then double tap to quickly take notes. But the issue is it doesn't work on the outside screen. You can see if I go like that, it doesn't work. And the issue with that is if your, S, if your Z Fold 5 is locked, then you're not gonna have it locked while it's open you're going to have it locked while it's closed and if you open the phone it wakes it so i don't find that feature uh useful but if you do ever find a situation for it then great uh, with that being said if you would like to help support the channel please do check the description bye bye